What's going on guys, Jay here. Thank you for your patience. In this video today, we're going to look back at 2023 with the Nexus Blast strategy results, the good and the bad, and we'll cover very important changes for 2024. Towards the end of the video, I'll give you some really good tips and tricks to make this year your best trading year ever, so don't miss out on that. So how did we do last year? Pretty damn well, I'd say. We started tracking the strategy in April of 2023, and then every single month, we started adding really good ideas based on your feedback, like adding the TradingView screenshots. For every one of these trades, you can go back in time because TradingView only gives you, I think, the last 30 or 60 days of data, depending on the subscription that you have with them. So here is like a time machine for the Nexus Blast setup that started in April of 2023. Every single month, I'm tracking the R value for the risk to reward, so the distance that the trade traveled. One R, for example, is if you are risking 1%, one R is 1% in profit. If you're risking 0.5%, one R is 0.5%. So the R value is not the number of wins or losses, it's actually your net reward over the risk. I did this for you guys religiously since April of last year, and as you can see, we're pretty consistent around the 80% mark for the one-to-one -one setup. And this is the part that I wanted to hit home with you guys, is the consistency of this strategy. For one to one and one to two, we haven't had any negative months since April of last year. This is September, October, November, December. You're seeing that December is getting a little lighter on the R value and even on the hit rate, even on the volume. We had a lot less trades in the winter months. And then last month in January, uh, we had 8R with the one-to-one -one setup, but we had our first negative months with 1-to-2 and 1-to-3. This means that if you're just a 1-to-2 and 1-to-3 trader and you're not taking partials, this would have been a negative month for the setup. You can see here that we're now using the futures data as of January 1st, 2024. So all of the information that you're seeing uh, in the screenshots is futures data. There's no more gray area of, I didn't have the same liquidity level as you with your CFD broker versus my CFD broker. It is now extremely clear that everybody is going to see the same data. So we're able to track it together and you're able to identify better confluences if you want to add them in this setup for yourself. We are still looking at a Previous session, high or low to get clipped as the raid. We are looking for a break of structure that is now based on a fractal. We are looking for displacement and acceleration in the form of FVGs. And we are looking for an FVG retest for entry. And I'm always showing you the worst possible entry so that there's no debating on the entry level. On a move like this one, this is the worst possible entry. Ideally, you would want to pull a fib from here to here and enter on the fair value gap that's behind. In this instance, you would have missed it. But I'm always showing you the worst risk to reward entry on these charts. So the data that you're seeing is extremely conservative. So we're going to keep on doing this every single day. The difference is that we're looking at futures data. The important thing to look at is was this strategy consistently profitable month after month? And the answer is yes. If you'd like to see this spreadsheet, it's updated every day. It's available to everyone. You can find the direct link right here on the website to view it. What are some of the important changes that we're making for 2024? The first thing is that we're going to be using futures data only. Last year, some people mentioned that their CFD broker did not show the same liquidity levels. They didn't see the same thing appear on their charts. So switching over to futures will fix that entirely and standardize our data tracking. I'm also switching to futures for trading. I had a few really bad experiences with some CFD brokers and realized how the precision and transparency from the futures market would improve my trading business. I spoke about fractals in a previous video, and now the break of structure level on the Nexus Blast strategy is only validated by a break of fractal, so there's no more gray areas. 
I still think that I have the most mechanical and consistent strategy online with all the data to back it up. If you haven't seen it, the link for that video is going to be up top right now. We even have someone in our private trading group who collected the same data, but over the past three years and the strategy has seen the same consistency every single year. So no worries folks, it's not going anywhere and it will continue working. The winter months have been pretty tough though. The setup did not show itself as often. It was a real discipline tester. I'm adding another strategy in the portfolio that is presenting itself every single day and that has shown incredible backtesting, forward testing, and live stream results. Right now we're developing it exclusively with and for our private group. This is one of the most important things I want to share with you. The strategy or strategies you want to use are only good if you're able to see them when they appear. I bring this up because although I'm flattered to see some people on YouTube and Twitter praise the Nexus Blast strategy for its high performing backtesting results, backtesting, in my opinion, isn't worth anything and here's why. When you backtest, you're not in the heat of the moment with your emotions trying to take over. You're not in real market conditions. I encourage you guys to do your homework, but what a lot of you are missing is, can I see these setups happening live? Plus, am I able to take them and manage them effectively in real live market conditions? Trading high impact news or New York market open isn't for everyone. You need to find something that fits your trading style, yes, but more importantly, something that matches your pattern recognition abilities. Our job as traders is to recognize an evidence-based pattern, pull the trigger on it when it's the right time, and manage it effectively with the end goal of maximizing the reward versus the risk we took when entering that trade. If you liked the video so far, please hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot. The last tip I want to leave you guys with is one that will have an immediate positive impact on your trading. Try to record yourself while trading your strategy in real live market conditions, screen, voice, and face. You should be able to explain in detail what you're seeing, what your plan is, and how you're going to execute it. Not only are you going to be able to rewatch yourself, miss the mark on a few things technically and emotionally, but it's also becoming your trade journal and that will save you some time. While you rewatch your recorded sessions, you'll see what you said you were going to do versus what actually happened. This is the you versus you mindset that I want all my traders to get into. This will help you pick up on a few screw ups and actually fix them. So for this year, find a way to easily see, catch and manage your favorite setups in the market, but also record yourself doing the entire execution. That will bring your trading and accountability to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. It helps tell me you'd like to see more content like this more often. Thanks and have a great day.